Hello, this is Soulful Talks Podcast. I'm Margot Silske Music, and today we're talking with Marian Dan about our collaboration, a song called The Voices of Earth, and some more things, some more interesting topics behind that scene, behind the creation, and about music. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'm ready. Ready. Vamos. Hi, Marion. Um, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay. So, uh, in this podcast today, I'd like to tell the story about our collaboration, the song, and just the connections that helped us meet together and create that. Mm -hmm. Voices of Earth. Let's uh, let's share what brought us to record that completely voicing song without lyrics, without words. I'm very excited about the release of the song. Uh, I think it was quite beautiful that we we only met each other once, and mm -hmm. then we went to the studio yeah, and we true. heard the sounds. Uh, I think it was like two takes, mm -hmm. yeah, one or yeah. two takes. It just went very fluidly and it just came out, the different voices. And um, I think it was beautiful that um, without even having to compose anything or prearrange in advance, yeah. uh, somehow the voices merged. That, that was quite uh, interesting for me to, to experience. Yeah, this is, um, I think this is like um, the most authentic way when we feel, flow, I think that's like, it's even further than it ethnicities, though I feel a lot that um, music has always been like a portal. Mm. I was connecting to this topic, like how music um, has been evolving, right? And I felt that uh, there were times when music was really a portal and sound is gaining a very uh, um, powerful mission now. Mm -hmm. in this time that sound is becoming a uh, um, creating tool, a creative tool mm -hmm. that can um, transform mm -hmm. our mind really. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. even when we make a song together mm -hmm. in the flow, uh, giving our power, giving our mm -hmm. uh, fire, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, connecting to something that's beyond us, mm -hmm. this helps um, what, what I call this kind of singing, uh, glossolalia, they used to say that, or um, voicing, light language, you can say, mm. it's uh, bringing in a possibility to go out of uh, um, mm. some kind of mind frames, maybe, mm. Mm. and uh, go deeper into the music, go deeper into the sound, and it turns out to be healing, releasing, mm. it uh, brings you something beyond just words you know mm -hmm. well I, I think music and sound has been always there for thousands and thousands and thousands of years yeah. in different formats maybe just um some drum beats or maybe just the sounds of nature or but also nowadays it's in every culture every mm -hmm. country there is something with music every culture mm -hmm. has a let's say a national song for example mm -hmm. or so I, I, yes. I don't think it's something new something different it's mm -hmm. about um, being connected with it again with the sounds yeah. and with the things that we hear mm -hmm. and music can bring us really in the present moment mm -hmm. we can when we're too much like in a rush in a busy state of mind by listening to music it can actually center us again and mm -hmm. remind you to yeah to just be present I think that's the beauty of music mm -hmm. um, somehow uh, I think we talked to you about that mm. uh, you used to sing mm. some time ago yeah more like pop style yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but then you found connection yeah. to a more free yeah. expression of yeah. sounds and yeah mm -hmm. melodies yeah so I, I have been singing when I was uh, younger already um, 
well, I wouldn't say singing, but finding a way to express myself. So I was always like uh, listening to pop songs and then uh, printing out the lyrics and literally looking at the lyrics at the time and then I seeing... I recognize myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there was like um, the, the fun way, but then I also did a, a music school in London um, and performing and I would dance, but I couldn't really find the joy in it. Somehow there was something that couldn't... Um, I couldn't really express my vo voice freely mm -hmm. and I had a lot of um, fright, uh, no, what is it called, uh, stage fright, fright. Mm -hmm. so that I got nervous when I was on stage singing a song because I would hear every tone that was out of tune mm -hmm. or if I was not in the rhythm, mm -hmm. I was so um, tense that I couldn't enjoy it and I stopped singing actually for a while as well, I didn't want to sing anymore okay. and then I found a way doing a lot of my yoga practices, meditation, all of that that it was still the voice that wants to express itself mm -hmm. and now it's more through sounds yeah. without text even mm -hmm. and what helped me there is that then you don't have to stick to a certain format you don't have to to stick to a cover that has mm -hmm. been already sung by someone else mm -hmm. and your mind is not engaged because there are no words right. so for me by using just the sounds mm -hmm. i can actually let go of the mind because um it's just being without yeah. yeah without the words if i yeah. use words then my mind yeah. starts to be active and yeah. then i'm like out of it yeah yeah and then you don't have to frame yourself into that uh, manner that somebody yeah. already yeah. performed exactly because yeah. you can't yeah. be somebody yeah it's yeah. about the uniqueness yeah. of yeah. your own expression yeah and that is um the, the main thing when when people want to do singing or when they're into music a lot of times they, they're like trying to maybe have a certain sound of mm -hmm. someone else yeah. um, because that's very normal we hear something mm -hmm. we're like oh we want to sound in that way mm -hmm. as well and then we forget to find what is an actual our own voice our own like literally the, the sound that comes out the tone or the, the, yeah. the volume all of that um, and by doing what we're doing now mm -hmm. you actually have to find your own voice because mm -hmm. it has not been done before yeah so yeah yeah it took me a lot, a lot of time because mm. I started uh, making music. I started making songs like around 12 years mm. ago, mm. and I had different influences mm. because, just like you said, I used to just close myself and every day, like for hours, I would sing yeah. lyrics and copy my favorite yeah. singers yeah. because yeah. I always wanted to sing. Yeah. So then uh, I had my own project. I had my own style, and you can you can't say it's copied because yeah. it still was very unique yeah but it still was uh, kind of like pop uh, melodies and uh, those were words mm. those were lyrics which mm. got deeper and more personal with time yeah yeah they would start flowing more from uh, the deep rather than thinking with my mind mm. over a nice melody or text yeah. you yeah. know yeah they would come from life from an intention to experience something yeah and then at some point i was like i can feel this kind of a at that time i was feeling it like a shamanic voice mm -hmm. i would call it shamanic mm -hmm. i would feel some kind of a shaman there inside me like wanting to put unusual voicing there in the song and um i would be afraid to do it because i thought it's funny it's mm -hmm. awkward mm -hmm. it's something else but at some point it was so strong this this energy that my my singing changed completely like being mm -hmm. Uh, voicing different like shamanic kind of style then it turned further and further expanding into like black language like experiencing my true voice it was like it was like wow that's what like mm -hmm. was there within while before I was trying to to learn classical technique of singing mm -hmm. and you know like uh, positioning my voice which I still study yeah and now I'm like merging these two yeah I'm merging yeah. this uh, kind of different techniques. Yeah. Uh, I see how it applies to my own timbre of voice. So yeah. it's like an endless, endless exploration. Yeah. It yeah. Never ends. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's also because the voice is with us for our whole life, right? So it is like a, a whole lifelong exploration, I would say. Mm -hmm. But I also think that um, there's something very liberating if you are able to express your voice mm -hmm. in that way. Mm -hmm. Whether you are speaking, whether you're yes. making sounds, whether you're singing. Yeah. And I hope that with this song, that when people listen to it, um, first of all, I'm very curious about how people experience it, but I hope when they listen to it, they find some uh, kind of 
um, expression within themselves so that they find some kind of um, aliveness or freedom as well yeah. or at least I hope that they will feel a bit what I what I feel when I, I recorded the song what did you feel it was just um, it went naturally and this flow and this liberation because you're literally voicing your the sound that's from within without uh, having to stick to a certain framework or um, all the rules I think that is for me um, very important that if I have too many rules I, I get a little bit stuck I need to be able to find my way um, whether it is in music or in, in, in life in general be a bit more yeah uh, exploring my own my own range and my own way Mm. Uh, actually, the name when we were talking with you about the name, yeah, and there were like different different options and visions, yeah. Uh, you chose it to be Voices of Earth, yeah, yeah. Do you have like? Would you like to share mm. why? why yeah, you yeah. Well, because I think when I listened and also the combination of our voices, mm -hmm. it's somehow very different, but it merged in a nice way, and that made me realize that we have. A lot of different voices on the earth or different sounds mm -hmm. um, whether it is sounds of the nature of the wind now you know here we see the wind breezing and or sound of the water or literally sounds of the the, the human voice yeah. I feel because it has so many different colors to it mm -hmm. yeah. that it was representing somehow the voices of the earth mm -hmm. so that so for me yeah. earth means not literally just the ground or the earth itself but yeah. the, the the everything right yeah. the yeah mm. what what did you um think of when you hear voices of earth oh <clears throat> i feel that i hear when i say voices of earth it's so multi-layered for me it's not just one thing it's not just talking about different ethnicities because you can hear our our mm. root yeah. our origin yeah. Yeah. from our voices yeah as you said like oh i could hear something Indian something Egyptian yeah, which yeah. which is nothing from my bloodline yeah, in this yeah, life yeah, but yeah. it's further on you know yeah, from, yeah. from my essence yeah uh, connections mm -hmm. uh, then like from you your own voice we can different people who perceive also different kind of color of ethnicity or like origin mm -hmm. right yeah you can you can visualize different landscapes yeah. of earth yeah you know breathing like moving as yeah. if it was literally the voice of uh, the planet, of yeah. the Earth, not just people, yeah. Yeah. but the landscapes, speaking mm. the um, the energies of this nature, you know, mm. when it's like mm -hmm. very alive, mm -hmm. very alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, it's like yeah. returning, returning you to a power mm. to feel who you really are, mm. what you really want, mm. what you really feel, mm. in front of your feelings beyond just mindset mm, of mm. people living in the mind but like what's in your heart yeah it's bringing you to the heart yeah i feel it's bringing you to your root to your body to breathe out to to ecstatic kind of a state mm. i see this music is very ecstatic mm, 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 mm. yeah yeah well i'm very uh, curious for uh, for the release and i hope the people that are listening that they have, um, that they enjoy it at least. Yeah. yeah.